All right, so I'm Kenzo Hillion from Institut Pasteur uh, in Paris, and today I will tell you about tool dogs that will hopefully help you uh, generating your tool description for Galaxy or Insert WL. So let's say you're developing your amazing new open source tool and uh, you are at the point that you want to make it available to the community, you will have uh, several options to deal with. So you can first use registries or repositories that are available on the web. So this is usually pretty straightforward to do. You just have to describe your tool with some metadata and the tool developer itself can deal with this task. And who is actually the best person to describe its work? So you have example here, and I will come back to bio tools in a minute. You can also try to integrate your tool to workbench environments such as Galaxy. Again, you use metadata to describe your tool, and you have an extra component that is uh, telling, uh, that is making the link between the, um, the description and the machine to understand the way to run the, and execute the tools. So this has the great advantage to make the tool available to even a wider uh, range of people, including uh, biologists and people not familiar with command line interface tool. But it's really uh, a more complicated task and uh, will uh, be more time consuming. Um, a thing that uh, appears is that uh, you can have redundancy in the description of uh, your tools when you're doing it on the registry and the, work, um, and the integration in Workbench environment, and um, that can lead to mislabeling of your tools. So what we are here trying to do with Tooldog is actually to use a unique uh, source of description, which would be BioTools, to uh, fetch the, the information and the source code and try to uh, build a, um, um, a backbone for your tool descriptions. So, in few words, um, BioTools is the cornerstone of the uh, Elixir tool platform, and its development is led by Elixir Denmark, and it's trying to be a discovery portal for um, key bioinformatic resources. You have here um, an example of a tool card from the last version of BioTools, and this is just to illustrate that you have really a lot of information that can be used for, for tool descriptions. Um, a good uh, strength of this registry is to be based on the EDAM ontology. Uh, and uh, you also have uh, references that you can get, source code, and a bunch of information I will not talk about today. And now, Tooldog is um, Python tools uh, in Python 3, and I will describe in uh, not too many details the, the way it works. So first, you, you, you get the information from BioTools at the JSON format. You load this into uh, an object model within Tooldog. In the meantime, the source code is downloaded for further analysis. You have also an extra step, step for Galaxy Generation uh, XML, which is to make the link between EDAM and um, the Galaxy data types. The, first main step of Tooldog is to uh, inspect the source code. So this is done within a Docker container and it's only now supporting Python tools um, using ArcPass thanks to um, a work done by Eric Rashi and Anton Kodak, ArcPass to Tool, which, is, uh, which we really greatly thanks. And um, it's, it's going to generate the first um, template of your tool description. And then the second step of this tool is to add all the metadata, EDAM and citation and so on, to the description. Um, another thing we realized is that there are already a lot of descriptions um, available and done by the community. And what we are also allowing with this tool is annotate your descriptions, um, of course, if it is registered on the, on the registry. So for the, for the future, we have plenty of plans, but uh, basically what we want to do is rebuild the um, SDKs, and uh, it was the main focus of the CodeFest, uh, especially about the CWL SDK. Uh, there is also an, an integration to Planimo that is planned. I didn't have time to talk about this tool, but it's really great tool to guide you through the, um, the, the construction of your Galaxy XML to integrate your tool. 
and we would like also to make it available with, um, through a web interface. So please, if you want to contribute, have any comments, uh, come, to, come to see us. We also have a poster for, uh, about Tooldog and about IDAM with uh, Matouche and Hervé. And I would like to thank all these people. Uh, it was really nice to have the, um, the chance to discuss with um, plenty of people during this event and the Galaxy Community Conference. And I thank you for your intention.